Hi, this is Milu. Today is Sunday, February 10th. Welcome to my channel. A number of people have asked me whether Beto is running, if Klobuchar is, is going to run, and Trump's attitude towards Warren. I have to mix things up a little bit every once in a while. I w in this video, I would put my political and to live impressions first, and then I will talk about a couple of other people that I know some of my subscribers may not be interested in. And also that is why I do three live streams a week where it's all about what I feel intuitively is going to happen politically. In any event, I would like to include a few people besides the usual political figures that I talk about. I would like to say a few words about Jake Paul. Most of you probably don't know who he is. He's a famous YouTuber. I would like to say a word about Casey Neistat. And I believe that's about it. In any event, today, I, on my way to the gym, because I went to the gym earlier, and I was thinking about Trump's behavior of bad-mouthing people, calling them names, and the like. I feel his base is getting tired of it, and I also feel he is not going to get much traction if you think because he thinks he's going to run again or something like that the reason trump is calling people names is because he has nothing else to offer except bigotry hatred and the wall that's what we all have witnessed the past two years or more and i feel a lot of people from his base are beginning to tire of this attitude calling people names and that is if he survives this month and next month and makes it through the summer which i'd be really shocked i can be wrong but i don't see how trump uh, is going to get re-elected number one number two the way he ridicules people He's old already. Journalists keep repeating and they think it's funny or somehow they're giving him a pass about these things. That's what's giving life to some of the things that Trump is doing. But I feel it's getting old. Let me put it this way. Even if Trump was to survive the summer and run for president, this is going to be a big joke because except for his hardcore people, I don't feel he's going to have much support. And I'm talking about a lot of Republicans are gonna bail out on him because we have major issues that Trump is not addressing, except for his war and bigotry. So I don't feel America wants that. That's my feeling. And those derogatory names he's calling people, that's going to backfire too. Among other things that are going to happen this month and next month, to be honest, I know today is the 10th. Uh, and, 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 and even in a week time, there can be so much news about Trump's misdeeds. I feel th th things can go out of control for him at any time. And I watched a little more of Ivanka's denying that she's worried. They are very worried. What they are hoping for is that they are going to be able to get away with it because of what they feel is their stature. Their father is president. He's going to be able to pardon those in his family who get caught lying to Congress among other crimes, but New York State is going to hold them accountable. 
And it's not going to be only New York State. I feel New Jersey is going to step on board as well. There are going to be a few states that are going to go after them. And I feel like saying, even when Trump leaves the White House, that doesn't mean he's going to get a break. It's going to get worse. That, that, that is when the challenge for the Trump family is going to start. Right now, they haven't seen anything yet. I still feel Trump may not finish his term in office because there's a lot more to come out. There's a lot we are not aware of, and it's going to be too much for him to handle, regardless of what Republicans do. That's my intuitive impressions of the Trump administration. My next reference is, is a young gentleman by the name of Jake Paul, and I was going through my usual news websites in order for me to prepare to do my readings. And I, used, and I went through TMZ because I am trying to diversify the channel, politics, and include you know, some readings about celebrities and, 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 and technology. And I saw that he had an altercation with a neighbor. I feel like saying, based on how I am feeling when I touch with this case, uh, if I were him, I would try to enter into negotiation with that neighbor and reach a settlement. I don't feel he's going to win. I hope he makes it go away without too much is said about it. That's, what I, that's, what, that's how I feel when I touch with the case that the neighbor has against Jake Paul. I thought I would say a few words about him. The next reference is Beto. A lot of people are asking me whether Beto will run. Beto is 70% there. Beto would love to run. But there is a problem. Beto gave his last race. He put so much energy in his last race. Beto is tired. Beto missed his family. His family missed him. He has, I believe, I believe two young daughters. Okay. And if Beto decided to run for president, it's going to be very tough on his young family. Not only that, Beto feels mentally exhausted. He's still trying to recover. So, he can change his mind on a dime. He may talk to somebody who convinces him. But to be honest, I don't feel Beto is going to run. He may be, he will be up for a nice position in a democratic uh, administration. But the way I am getting better right now, I don't see it. The next reference is Joe Biden. I feel the same thing with Joe Biden. He may change his mind on a dime, but the way I'm touching with Joe Biden, his age, and I'm not saying that in a disparaging way, his family, he lost his son not too long ago, and he's trying to figure out if there's a path for him if he were to jump in. Uh, yes, Joe would do very well. Joe polls very well. He polls at the top of the pack. Again, he may talk to Obama. Obama convinces him to run. That's the only way because Joe is looking for a path to the, to the nomination because Joe doesn't want to run, put all this energy a third time into running for president and things don't go his way. Joe wants to go selling. That's the, as I am talking about him, I'm seeing a boat. I don't know if he, if he sells or if he goes on boat trips. I have no clue. But the picture I'm getting is Joe Biden sitting on a boat. He has books and his family. I'm not saying he's going for a long trip on a boat, but it's like he's on a marina or near a marina and he's reading. He has a white cap on. 
So I would be surprised if Joe Biden runs. But it's not, it's not completely out of the question. Both him and Beto, somebody can talk to them and they change their mind. But both of them, I don't think so. 90% chance those guys are not running. The next reference is another YouTuber. His name is Casey Neistad. And uh, the reason why I am bringing Casey up is because, I mean, I watch other YouTubers' video because he's successful. I can learn from him to see how they go about doing the vlogs and see how I can go about make my videos better. In any event, Casey had something going with Burger King last week. Casey, I think we should talk about the Burger King thing, okay? I know you probably don't understand anything about people like myself, but when, when people come to mind, I see pictures. As I was watching the video, I was getting the letter P as in Paul. So if there is somebody, the name, whose name starts with the letter P in your family, uh, it would be interesting to know. And also, there's, there is somebody I can confuse people with in families. Is there somebody the name starts with the letter S in your family? And I am going to say this, I keep seeing a blue scarf. I am not sure how that is connected to you, but there's a blue scarf here. Okay, I hope you laugh when you see this, but I thought after I saw that Burger King video, I thought I would include you in my video. This is for fun as well. This is all I have for today. Thanks very much for watching my video. And for your support, please subscribe and press the bell next to the subscription button in order for you to be notified when I am live or when I post a video. Again, thank you. Till next time.